Mexico, traffic Spirit Bell, 750 Zulu Whiskey, cross 1836 Mexico. Mexico Memorial Airport, automated weather observation, 1755 five, Zulu weather, wind 240 at 8, visibility 10, clear below 1, 2,000, temperature 2, 1 Celsius, 2.5, altimeter 3004. Well, as you heard here, it's actually warm out, 21 degrees Celsius, that's what, 72, 73 degrees Fahrenheit? Beautiful so. day. Yeah. So it's still, uh, we're early March, but uh, feels like spring today, so it's a beautiful day to go flying. Now today we actually have a purpose uh, to go flying, uh, besides just... We always have a purpose, <laughs> or make a always, purpose. Yeah, always find a reason to go flying, but uh, today we're, uh, we're, we're, we're testing, we're evaluating the, uh, the wing fairing. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, there's strut covers, and then we have uh, the fairings over the tail, and then we have strut to the body fairings. Or it'll improve the, the cosmetic or the look of the aircraft because you're hiding a lot of those boat bolt connections right. to the aircraft and uh, all, all results were, were gaining a little bit in speed too, having everything yeah. uh, more uh, ferried in. Yeah, so we're in the, the CH-750 cruiser and the cruiser of course that's, you know, it's a cruiser airplane so speed is a little bit more of the essence and that's where putting fairings on that just makes sense to do that. Uh, with the Stoll airplanes we, we haven't we haven't uh, promoted that as much because, uh, you know, it's a short takeoff and landing, high drag, so it's not going to make that much difference. But on this type of airplane, definitely we see the demand for it. And, and again, we're, we're seeing beautiful uh, completions from customers, and, and so adding fairings, it just gives it that extra level of uh, uh, finish. And uh, so we'll uh, take it flying and see, uh, see what that's all about. All right, we're going to do a run up here. We got the UL Power 350i in here, which is 118 horse. And we'll run it up to 1700 RPM, check each ignition. Back to both, now left. Both. Both clear and free. We got the flaps up. Gas on the fullest tank. Gas on. And uh, we got a backup fuel pump. Uh, I'll just turn that on as an emergency. Everything else looks fine, so we're just going to do a normal takeoff and uh, just fly around a few minutes and tell you about the new bearings we have on the aircraft. Wonderful. Yeah, such a beautiful day out. Mexico, traffic stable. 70 cruiser is going to be departing runway 24, be a local flight from Mexico. And we have a little bit of wind just straight down the runway, so it should, all it'll do is help our takeoff roll. Yeah, and uh, you know we're going to start getting ready for sun and fun. So you wanted a little extra speed to go to sun and fun. I know, and I'm <laughs> looking forward to that. Actually, just you know, for the sake of doing it, it'll be a great opportunity to uh, to test these uh, on a long cross country flight. All right, so I ease in the power, stick about uh, three quarters of the way back, nose comes up instantly, and then increase the rest of the power. And we're already airborne. Nice. I know, it feels like a stole airplane pretty much oh, when we yeah. go flying in this, doesn't yeah. it? And uh, of course it's not our stole, this is a CH-750 cruiser, and that's where, again, with the uh, with those pairing pieces, I think it'll uh, it'll improve our performance a little bit. Uh, now, you were flying them also in our Super Duty and our stole airplanes, and uh, we can talk a little bit more about that as well. Yeah, we have the set uh, almost ready to go for the Super Duty too, and and the 750 stole also, but uh, yeah, it definitely, uh, you know, it, I didn't really look at the speed-wise on the Super Duty because it's such a draggy airplane. We put it on there just to clean it up a little bit on looks-wise, and then I did notice that uh, we've got a lot of disturbed airflow over that tail section. It actually helped on slow flight. Right. So coming in the land, and it felt like I had a lot more uh, control, elevator control at slower flight. And you know, at Zenith, we really specialize on the all-metal elements of the aircraft, and that's where, you know, little fiberglass or plastic components like that, we, we count on outsiders to help us with that. And Mark Seaver of uh, Aerospace Holdings, I believe his company is, out of uh, Oklahoma. New company, but Mark's been in aviation all his life, and a great person to partner with on this. Uh, has done a great job of coming out, and uh, he actually 3D scanned the parts. It's, and uh, develop these fairing pieces, 
and uh, we look forward to you know supplying them to customers, installing them to help them install them, and to really uh, take their home built aircraft uh, to a really uh, professional finish with these bearing pieces. Yeah, and you know they'll get these bearing kits. So there's going to be a lot of trimming, cutting, a little gluing and stuff, and drilling. And uh, you're going to have to customize it to your aircraft because right. everyone's just like one of a kind. So it's it's not a huge project. Probably you're looking at uh, you could probably do the whole aircraft in a day or two. You know, right. and it makes right. a fun project. A lot of customers are calling, wanting something else to do to their flying aircraft. Exactly. And uh, it's always fun to do that. And then they can. Gain a little bit of speed on top of that. Absolutely, and that's the thing is it's really a, a win-win, I think, for customers to be able to do that. And uh, one of our favorite customers, Mark Penstatler, you know, he's a master builder. He's built a cruiser. He's working on a Super Duty now. We had shipped him out one of the earlier sets of the, of the fairings. And uh, he, as part of what he does with his video series, he did a nice video series on installing the fairings. Zenith is starting to come out with a bunch of fairings available for the cruiser and some of their other models. One of the interesting things about these fairings is they are not fiberglass, they're plastic, which makes them a lot easier to finish and paint uh, and you get a nice smooth surface. Here's a look at the upper wing strut fairings for the cruiser. We have an aft fairing that goes in front of the horizontal stabilizer. And we have a fairing here, it's, it comes in two pieces, that is made to cover up the lower wing strut and the landing gear. So a lot of nice new products from Zenith coming along. Take a look at what Mark has done. Uh, of course, Mark takes everything to the next level. It does very, very, uh, you know, a high level of finish. And uh, but it gives you a good idea of the work involved and the type of skills and then how beautiful the finish is on them as well. Right, and that's why I wanted to send a set to Mark and get his evaluation uh, before we launched it out to our customers because I knew Mark would give us a really good, honest, you know, answer right. either on the on the installation part, the, the, the finished look and everything. Right, absolutely. And I think he's done a great job with it. Again, when you look at it, realize that this is a master builder doing this, so you don't necessarily have to do it to that to that level of, of finish or completion, but uh, you can have a look at it. And, of course, on our airplane, we just finished installing them on, on our CH-750 cruiser airplane. And you can see them. Uh, they haven't been painted yet. And you can see that the, the trim and finish, it's, it's, it's while it's good and it will provide uh, good performance uh, enhancements that we, we expect. Uh, at the same time, uh, we didn't take it to the level of, of fit and finish that right. uh, someone like Mark would do. And that's a beautiful thing about home-built aircraft is, uh, you know, they, they become a reflection of the person who built it. You know, some people have more time, some people have less time, and more skills, less skills. And at the same time, they're all great flying airplanes. And in the kit, we're supplying, and that was a good thing you just brought up, we're supplying uh, rib nuts and screws for it. And the, the, the reason for that is, is the customer needs actually to remove the fairings at every annual inspection at least to check all the, you know, wing strut fittings, bolts, gear right. fittings, and everything. And on the, the strut to body fitting, uh, you can actually look underneath there and check your gear bolts and the, the rubber space between the gear. Right. So, uh, you know, the rib nuts, uh, you know, it'll take a special tool to put them in, but uh, I've already checked. You can get one those rib nut tools at Harbor or Harbor Freight for $22. So, oh, yeah. and you it's, know, it's, yeah. uh, but it's the best way to do it, the proper way to do the installation. Right, right, because that's the thing. When you're covering up things with your fairing yeah. pieces, you, you still want to be able to inspect your airplane, especially at the beginning. You know, once, uh, you know, when you're doing your phase one flight test program, I would personally, I would probably prefer not having them. Even Correct, I agree, point. yes. Yeah, you yeah. don't need to worry about that because everything's moving, adjusting, and exactly. loosening their stuff. Yes, exactly. You know, those types of projects I find are great projects. Once you're finished and flying, well, you know, again, you're, you're, you're never truly really finished with the home build <laughs> aircraft, you know, but once you're flying, that's really a nice project to add on to your, uh, to your aircraft project. Well, let's go back and we'll do, set up for a landing and uh, see how it looks uh, when we land on these new fairings. Yeah, even looking at the airspeed on here, we probably picked up, what, maybe four four knots, five yeah, miles an hour? Yeah. That's what I'm coming uh, up with, four to five knots. Because uh, we're, we're here in the pattern, nearly, you know, pattern type flying here, economy cruise, and uh, well over 100 miles an hour on here, so I think we're... We're looking pretty good with that. Right. And the nice thing I like about these new strut fairings, uh, Mark has done an excellent job trying to keep the price down. And I know you, all you guys out there that own certified airplanes, Cessnas and stuff, they, those, those fairings are hundreds and hundreds of dollars a piece. Right. And uh, we're going to have a complete set at a very low cost set. Right. There, there's no reason not to do it. 
And like a lot of stuff that we do, we'll, we'll come out with an introductory prize, try to right. get them out there for, for folks. Um, and then knowing that, we, you know, instructions and so forth may not be completely perfect yet. But uh, it's still a great project to do. This is non-structural stuff, so it's pretty easy to do. And uh, pretty much anybody, if you're a second owner on an airplane, this is a good project to be doing as a, as a second owner on the airplane. Get to know the airplane, personalize it a little bit more. Right. And uh, Mark is actually, he's in the process, too, of making some uh, different clearance for uh, center consoles and carpet stamp carpets for the airplane. So that's right, yeah, that's right, know, yeah. keep your eyes out for that kind of stuff, too. Yeah, he has some nice uh, nice carpets uh, to, to put in the cabin area. Right. So, yeah, look us up for that. Yeah, Mexico, traffic to Memo, 50 Cruiser is going to enter left wing for 24 Mexico. And so, uh, Roger, how does someone go about getting those? Well, what we're going to do is uh, we'll probably have the customers call Zenith Factory and order directly because we're going to have a kit just like uh, the other fasteners and screws. Uh, we think about direct, but uh, we're going to have to have some in stock, so I think I'm going to have the customers just sure. call direct okay. and we'll ship them out from us. And we already have a waiting list or a, a list of uh, potential customers, so uh, the, if you guys are thinking about it, Put your name on the list, and we should have them available probably in our stock in, uh, in about two weeks. Okay, great. Now. That's really uh, in the near future. So, yeah, give Joyce, Caitlin a call, and uh, get you on the on the books for those. And then in the meantime, uh, and I'll, again, uh, follow the links here, is uh, look at the, the installation video from Mark Penstadler and, uh, and uh, installing it on his CH-750 cruiser airplane. So oh, let's uh, take this in now. Mexico traffic, Spermo 750 Zulu Whiskey, turning left face, 24 Mexico. Very nice to be flying again when it feels like springtime I outside, know, doesn't it? You're in short sleeves and yes. cabin heat is off. It's a nice change. And just a week ago, uh, we were in uh, single digit weather, wasn't it? But uh, my rule of thumb is spring does not start until we get back from sun and fun. Because <laughs> it can snow before then. <laughs> that is true. That is true. And you're absolutely right. I know we've had some years that it's freezing during sun and fun week. Yes. And of course, that's uh, April 5th to the 10th of this year, and we look forward to seeing many of you out there. We have like, got lots going on. We'll plan on doing another uh, preview video prior to Sun and Fun, but uh, already looking forward to that. That's uh, just a short month away. All right, go ahead and deploy the full flaps, which are 15 degrees. That's great over the nose visibility in this Oh, airplane. it is. Now, Dave, I know you're going to be watching, so uh, I'm going to try to hit that center line for you. Not just Dave, you've got <laughs> quite a following that uh, now, you know, you keep boasting about landing it on the center line. That's putting pressure on yourself. I know it? it, I know it. <laughs> uh, it's good fun, you know? It is, and it's good practice, of yeah, course. It's yeah. always good practice. Nice and slow, you know, yeah, we're indicated in the 50s here. Power's all the way back. Uh, pretty impressive, Roger. You nailed it again. <laughs> Actually, it was working a little harder than no just normal. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> if I wasn't even thinking about it, I would have hit it directly, but uh, pressure was on. A little bit of pressure, so. Anyway, we enjoyed uh, taking you flying again uh, and, and, and showing the uh, new fairing pieces uh, for the CH-750 Cruiser airplane. Like I said, we'll have that available for pretty much all Zenith uh, on the uh, 750 Stoll and Super Duty, as well as the CH650 as well he's working on, isn't he? That is correct. So yeah, just give us a call, we'll put your name on the list, and hopefully we can get it out within the next three to four weeks for sure.